Hi, I'm Becca and I'm at the vaults in Waterloo ready for the Vault Festival. Now this has been described as a brilliantly eclectic programme of performance. So we are really looking forward to finding out what is going on inside. Let's go have a little look. We're 300 different shows this year and on any given night we have about 30 shows happening in the different spaces in our venue um, as well as a few external venues as well. But sort of relaunched our comedy festival so it's now we're pretty sure the largest comedy festival in London uh, we've got I think it's around now 150 acts if not just a little bit less uh, includes uh, like household names as well as acts who maybe are sort of working on new stuff maybe not as well known yeah I think for most of the audience it's about having like making a night for themselves they'll come along to see a friend in a show or they'll see a theatre show that they're quite interested in that they've heard about but then they'll stay for the late night comedy they'll stay for the late night party they can come and they can enjoy the space just have a drink but also you know go chat with Carmel in the information station and ask what's happening tonight what should I go to Okay, so you're involved in a few different productions going on. Tell me a little bit about them. Yeah, sure. So first up, uh, next week we've got a production called Lamplighters, which is a one-man interactive spy story inspired by the novels of John le Carre. It's quite a loving parody of, like, sort of 60s-style spy stories and uh, meant to be super interactive, so audience members will get up and be the spies in the story and do all sorts of, like, uh, fun and interesting things. Um, uh, it's performed by a guy called Neil Connolly, who is one of the one of the best actors in immersive theatre and interactive theatre working today, and we've sort of co-written it and co-produced it. And can you tell us a little bit about Pendulum? Yeah, the pen- Pendulum is a one-on-one, hyper-reality, horror, immersive experience that we're doing as part of Vault Festival. Uh, that means you're going to have a mixture of you know, immersive theatre acting, live experience, and then go into VR for 360 horror. Uh, it's been inspired by 80s horrors like Hellraiser and uh, Cronenberg's work, uh, but brought to you both with you know, the magic of, of uh, modern technology uh, and also you know, just what that live experience can add you know, to uh, uh, people's emotions in the situation. You chatting to someone who just does mime or just does, um, you know, like a, a juggling act or something completely different to what you do. Uh, and sometimes you meet people who you're like, well, actually, we've got something we can trade with each other. and um, or, or you just get to see something that you'd never see otherwise because you're like, oh, they're in the space before me, so I'm going to see it because we've made friends with them backstage. And also just hanging out in the bars here is amazing. You meet so many great people, people who are doing shows and also just really interesting people who come and take in all of the shows. So I'm more used to kind of like traditional theatre, but I think the interesting thing about Vaults is there's such a mix, like there's comedy, um, there's cabaret, there's music, and it's really nice to have a venue where you can just put all of those things together. So. The final one is uh, a big St. Patrick's Day party because the festival ends the weekend of St. Patrick's Day. Uh, so it's called Ruckus, and it is uh, it is sort of like an Irish mob-themed St. Patrick's Day party. So thinking Peaky Blinders, flat caps, oh, fiddles, all okay. of that sort of thing. Um, so we'll have like a few actors going around. There'll be a bit of a story going on. and sort of encouraging people to dress up and have like an alternative St. Patrick's Day. So we have had a good look round. Everything that is on offer at Vault Festival starting this evening and going on for a month and it is getting me so hyped to come back and see what's going on. There are countless rooms, so many different things on offer. It's an absolute must see. For now we're going to head off. Ivan Becker reporting for you.